How's it going guys? Bibi here with another anime news. So to start us off, I've got some information on some anime that will be coming out in 2017. Nyanko Days and the new Gintama anime will both be releasing in Japan on the 8th of January 2017. Gabrielle Dropout will release on the 9th of January. And two anime have been announced for spring of 2017, Sagrada Reset and the new Precure anime. Toei Animation has opened a teaser website for the new Precure anime. This will be the 14th in the franchise, which is amazing. This is going to be called Kira Kira Precure a la mode. So I'll make sure to update you all with the dates when these two anime come out, but it's still pretty cool to see that the Precure series is still going. So I've got some really exciting information when it comes to Pantene stocking with Gardabelt. So this series finished on a cliffhanger, it said to be continued in season 2, but we never got a season 2. So now we've got a teaser picture for a possible coming soon. So on the Gynex West Twitter account, they went and posted on the 25th of November that if they can get over 2,000 followers or 5,000 retweets, then they'll release information when it comes to this picture. So they passed their goal and what we got was a tweet saying, not Pachinko. So after a couple of hours, they passed the 2,000 follower mark. And so they posted a tweet saying, thank you for 2,000 followers. We will offer something new with Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt and it will make you excited. They then go on to say in another tweet, and it's not Pachinko, not Patchy Slot, or a social network game, or even a Blu-ray. It will be officially announced on the 16th of December. This is really interesting and really exciting. I absolutely love Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt, and I can't wait to find out what this is about. It's kind of weird that they went and put the whole and it's not a Blu-ray thing in there. So I don't know if it's going to be an anime series. I really hope it's a second season, but we'll just have to wait and see. If you guys don't know, I've already done a BB's pick on Pantene Stocking with Garter Belt. It's a bit of an older video, so it's not the greatest, but if you're interested in watching it, you can click the iCard up there or you can go and check the links below. Another anime that is definitely getting another series is the Cardcaptor Sakura anime. So you only have to wait until January of 2018 to watch this series. It's going to be on NHK TV in Japan and I'll make sure to update you all when I find out more about this series. I am so excited and I cannot wait. And some more anime news, we've got something that has been trending on Twitter and everyone's been talking about on social media as well as plenty of YouTube videos but because this is anime news I have to cover it. Code Geass is getting a sequel. At the 10th anniversary event, Sunrise announced that the franchise is getting its next project. It is also getting a three-part compilation film series. The films are going to recap all 50 episodes of the series. So as for the so-called sequel, this is going to be called Code Geass Lelouch of Resurrection. The story will be set several years in the future after Lelouch has supposedly died and they haven't actually announced what format this will be in. So we don't know if this is going to be an anime series or whether it's going to be an OVA or even a feature length film. We're just going to have to wait and see and wait for extra announcements. I'm hoping that if they're going to do anything, they're going to make this into a film because it seems to be the way that series go to finish up the rest of whatever they want to finish off. So if we look at Digimon, or the Evangelion series and even Madoka Magica. They all went into doing a movie instead of doing another season. Although in saying that, Digimon I think is getting another season, uh, Digimon Try, so that's another story for another time. That's all the information we have for this. Some people are unhappy about this, some people don't really care. I myself am looking forward to just seeing what they do with it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Meanwhile in gaming news, visual novel publisher Moe Novel has announced a new series to be coming to the west. The game is Love Kami Divinity Stage and this will be releasing on Steam in December. It's going to cost $15 so it's not that expensive. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below because there is an English trailer for you to watch. Another game coming to Steam is Nitro Plus Blasters. This will be releasing on December 8th and will come with additional colour palettes for the characters 
animated backgrounds, as well as victory poses. No word on price, but I've been really wanting to play this one, so I might have to go and check it out. Now here's an interesting story for you. So, Pokemon Sun and Moon has been out for a couple of weeks now, and one talented Japanese girl has finished the game, but not in a conventional means. She has finished it with a single magic carp. The magic carp she used is named Dinner. That's a bit morbid, but anyways. And it only knows one move, Flail. If you don't know what Flail does, Flail deals more damage the lower the user's HP is. Many people have said that she couldn't have beaten the game this way because of Ghost-type Pokemon. The Elite Four has a trainer that has Ghost-type Pokemon in it, and Flail is a normal-type move, which is ineffective to Ghost-types. But there is one way around it. If Flail runs out of PP, or runs out of its moves, then all it can use is Struggle, which Struggle can hit Ghost-type Pokemon. So it's a bit of a balancing act of making sure that Magikarp doesn't faint, it runs out of PP, and then while he's using Struggle, make sure to use Potions, because Struggle also deals damage to the Pokemon that's using it. So you don't want it to faint before you get the chance to beat the Pokemon that it's opposing. In addition, Sun and Moon has the Z-moves, which Z-moves are really, really handy. They're special moves that you can use once you have the Z-ring and the Z-stones. So Z-moves become really handy as a last minute attack to make sure that you do knock out the Pokemon. And last up in figure news, Artifex J is releasing a 1 7 scale figure of Carcaptor Sakura. She's going to be in her outfit from the second season anime opening, which is just too adorable. On top of that, she has a little Kiribaris on her shoulder, which I absolutely love. So this is going to cost 15,984 yen, or about 141 US dollars. Expect her to come out in April of 2017. Next is this 1 8 scale figure of Amy from Gargantia Virtuous Planet. This is an amazing looking figure, and I wish that I could buy it, but I just don't have the funds. This is going to cost 14,580 yen, and will release in May of 2017. Last up is some really exciting news for those of you that are trying to collect all of the Ulta Love Live figures. So recently I was on AmiAmi just scrolling through to see what's around, and I noticed that there was a Katori online. And I knew that people had been selling her second hand because she's very sought after and she's very expensive. She can go upwards of 20,000 yen. But I realised that this was a pre-order. She's getting a re-release, and for a really good price too, 12,480 yen. She's going to be releasing in July of 2017, so you've got plenty of time to go and pre-order her. If you are interested, make sure to jump on her quick because I'm pretty sure she will disappear very quickly. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. As for the other figures in this line, Hanio was meant to come out in November of 2016, but she's been pushed back to November. It seems to be a running thing with the Love Live figures. They've been pushed back a bit. The other figures that are out are Nico and Nozomi, who you can go and buy at the moment on AmiAmi, and Maki. Unfortunately, she is out of stock. She was very sought after, and I can see her being very expensive. Lastly is Reen. She was the very first one to come out, and she is also rather unattainable. But you can find her on Amazon secondhand. I'm just hoping that she's going to get a re-release as well. As for the last three to come out, there's Umi, who's coming out in April of 2017, Honoka, which is coming out in June of 2017, and last up is Ali, who doesn't have a release date. So I'll have to make sure to update you all when she gets a release date. Either way, I'm still trying to collect all these figures, they're very expensive and it's taken me a very long time. So that's all the anime news I have for you today. What are you looking forward to? What do you think of all these second seasons and new sequels coming out? And also let me know if you're trying to pick up all these Ulta Love Life figures and are you happy about Katori? I'm looking forward to reading all your comments. While you're there, please make sure to give this video a big like and share it out to all your friends. I'd really appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. If you haven't already, please go check out the rest of my channel. I've got weekly anime news, anime recommendations, and figure reviews, and plenty of other anime videos, so I'm pretty sure you'll find something interesting to watch. If you want to chat to me and see what I've been up to, I'm on social media. I've got a Twitter and a Facebook, and I'm online constantly, so make sure to come say hello and like me and follow me on there. If you want to see more from me and more videos like this, then please make sure to subscribe for a wide range of anime content. From Oe Mecha, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!